everybody. My name is Corey Oxman, and I, what I want to introduce you to is Finn, our Mako sculpture. Now, many of you know that over the last 50 years, SeaWorld has helped to rescue and rehabilitate over 27,000 animals. Many of those are marine animals that have been impacted by or injured by plastic and ocean, uh, other ocean debris. So to convey this conservation message throughout our Mako realm, SeaWorld has commissioned the Wash to Shore project to create this unique art sculpture of a Mako shark that was made completely out of hard, non-biodegradable plastic that was all found on the coastlines of Oregon by volunteers that have uh, done coastal cleanups. And as you can see, there's many everyday household items that we'll recognize here. We have toothbrushes up here, water bottles throughout, a fishing net, there's golf balls. So all of these things that we use every day, that we're very familiar with, does impact ocean health. And what we hope is that when guests come to the Mako realm and they see this nice art sculpture, they'll, they'll uh, be reminded of the impact that we have on animals of the ocean through art. Now, one thing that we can all do to help maintain ocean health and protect the animals that live there is by recycling, doing coastal cleanups. But a small thing that we do every day, whether it's going to a restaurant or going to the grocery store, is to use less plastic. Plastic straws, plastic bags, all of those things can end up impacting and injuring uh, ocean life. Sometimes we don't realize that until we actually see a dolphin coming into SeaWorld with a plastic bag in its belly or a sea turtle that has a plastic straw that was lodged up its nostril. Many people don't get to see that unless you work here at our animal rescue team at SeaWorld, but these things happen every day. And so it's up to us as humans to make sure that we use less plastic and we recycle what we do use. Otherwise, it does end up on our coastlines and into the ocean hurting animals. If you'd like to get some close-up shots of it, feel free. If you have any questions about Finn, please feel free to ask. This, what are some of the other educational aspects that will be here? Throughout the entire Mako realm will be many educational aspects, including uh, Finn, our Mako sculpture, other signage, and interactive technology to help our guests connect with ocean life, and specifically sharks. Is this all, all the time now, or...? Finn will be here for the first uh, few months that Mako is open, so guests will be able to see him in the realm. And he will be here for a long time, but in between um, meeting guests here at SeaWorld, he also travels, so he'll be attending schools and other events around Florida, as well as the whole country, to educate students and other people about the impact that we have on ocean health. But for the majority of the time, yes, he will be here at the Mako realm. So if somebody were to come tomorrow, let's say, would they be able to see it or we're we waiting for Mako? Mako is opening on June 10th and that's right. when and he will be okay. free to see. Yes. <laughs> how, how tall is... Uh... Six feet tall and six feet long. And this is uh, not a full-size Mako. They can get up to be uh, 12 to 13 feet at their biggest.